Hello everyone, I'm Lorna Lewis. Tonight we're going to be talking about film photography and how studying with a film camera can really improve our skills with the digital camera. Um, it's, it's pretty wonderful. The digital camera, all the settings that, that we have today were the basis from film. So when we learn how to use a film camera old school, we're going to be able to take any kind of picture that we want and really capture the right light and the right setting. So um, I've learned at Austin P for several years, been studying fine arts degree and with a focus on studio and photography. So I've studied from the studio to the dark room. So it's given me tons of practice and, and great experiences and even the mistakes that have helped me learn. So that's kind of what I'm going to show you today and ways to get what you wish on film and capture that. So what we're going to talk about is the basics of the film camera that are also on the digital. So we're using a simple ProMaster, any brand would work for a film camera. You're going to have your basic dial for shutter speed and then f-stop or aperture and that's going to be basically the eye of the camera that opens and closes and lets the amount of light in that you wish for a certain uh, setting. The last dial is going to be for really your fine focus or your distance and that's just going to be found lastly as you look through the camera and see when it comes into focus with your eye. Uh, also we have what's called ISO that is simply your light sensitivity that's tweaking that little bit of light so that it's softer or if it's brassy but you'll get that right light scenario that you need it'll help it um, focus that in even more so those are going to be the the very basics for using film photography and I really recommend that you know if all this fails read the directions so these manuals are really going to help so uh, I don't know if any of you, you know, used film before. Remember when you had to, you know, drop off uh, your film at the developing place or the Walgreens, and it was so exciting. You had got up enough money to buy your film, and then you had to take all the pictures just so and have it down, and, and then it was a mystery and what might come back just right. So people took a lot more time and attention because we didn't have the delete button, did we, right? We couldn't put it on autofocus. We had to manually adjust and had to know how to get that camera just so. So we could have that image back like we want, wished for. So we're going to learn that. And really practicing with the film settings from your manual will help you give you scenarios. Then journal each shot, 1 through 24, is a basic amount of pictures on a roll. Journal that in a little book. When you get your camera back, your pictures back, you'll see how it took and then you can go and use that same training and study and take it to your digital camera. It will really improve your work phenomenally. So I love the Canon. This is a Canon Rebel. This is a great digital. goes into really kind of a moderate professional setting. You can change out the lenses. But Canon is phenomenal with this book. This is a manual for the Rebel. You can also get real in-depth uh, Canon books that will teach you on DSLR. That's what this is, a digital camera. Um, and it will give you great scenarios for the lighting, the settings. The difference is on a digital camera, it's not going to be the manual settings. You're going to set it for manual, but you're going to have the digital readings and little icons that will, will symbolize the same things like the shutter speed, the aperture, and then you're going to use this dial for your distance. Okay, so very much the same. You're going to understand your film to digital better and have just a greater result. So I would recommend getting online. There's um, a great website, website that you can look at. It's called DIYphotography.net. It's amazing. It has little charts for you. You can learn scenarios. YouTube, other photographers are online that you can practice. Meetup groups, of course. And um, Photo Basics is a great book that you can get that will teach the very beginner's guide. And I really love that one. 
Um, so practice with the film camera, get your pictures back, and then take that same knowledge, that old school slow uh, method, and then you'll really understand the digital camera so much better and have a greater result and not waste one button that you have and then you can really have those new surprises readily available whether you develop them or not. Thank you.